I want to mount an antenna in my backyard. And the problem is, is I don't want to dig down into clay soil and try to put some concrete and then get a post and go through all that rigmarole. So what I've discovered is, is these Pilex foundation screws. You can go to Home Depot and pick up these guys. You take this thing off. Now you can use this to help drive this down by placing this in here, a two by four across this and you can walk it around, but I can't walk around the fence. So I'm going to use an impact driver. It turns out that a three quarter impact driver fits perfectly inside that. So you can pound this down into the ground. Now I'm not sure, and I want your opinions, is if I clean this off or copper coated or did something with this, would this work as a ground stake? I've got about uh, four feet, three and a half feet, I guess maybe. And you can add extensions so you could make this go six feet down, but instead of pounding something in, you can just screw it down in and let me show you. Quick trick, get one of these things or a bubble level of some sort and you can establish the up downness or the vertical and make sure that it's square up and down. Then after that, really it comes down to figure out how to insert pieces into this. And well, we've got a known measurement, so we should be able to create a mast off of this. Before any of you say that, hey, you got a big chunk of metal beside your antenna, you're absolutely right, but you got to work with what you got. And in this case, I've got a fence or I've got a house. And uh, either way, I've got interference. This is the way I'm taking care of it. Well, um, tough ground means that I'm gonna have to get a two by four. Wish me luck. Is this less work than uh, digging a hole? In my case, yes. This is clay soil and it's, it's a nightmare to dig. And as much as it sucks to put this one in, nowhere near as bad as if I tried to dig and put some cement in. Depending on your soil conditions, you could have pull out strengths of up to 5,000 pounds if you have really dense clay soil, which I kind of do. Some of you are thinking, well, that's great. It's just one little stick in the ground and that'll be great for a vertical whip, but nothing else. And you're right. What you can do is put multiple Pilex screws into the ground at a distance, like a square distance, and then bolt a plate to the top. And on that plate, you can attach your mast. At 1,500 pounds pullout strength per element, with four of these, that means that you have basically a pullout push down of about 6,000 pounds. And that's pretty strong. And should your tower become unlevel, there's nothing stopping you from unbolting it and re-leveling it or putting adjusting screws on the top of these bars so that should your tower start to tilt, you can adjust it. There are some little add-on pieces that you can get to keep that bar that's standing up from going side to side. Um, you can get these little wedges that will hold it still, and those can be handy, but in this case, the, the soil density is pretty intense. And given the load of what I'm gonna be putting on this, it's hardly anything. In fact, this is about as overkill as you could possibly get. For the antenna that you see at the end of the video. So what happens if you have like sandy soil or something like that, and you only have 500 pounds pullout strength on these things? There are extenders and you can get these two foot extensions or four foot extensions, and you just push it down further into the ground. And that will help you get closer to that 1500 pounds or 5,000 pounds or whatever pullout strength that you need.
This video brought to you by VFcoms.com, Velocity Factor Communications, the maker of the Farajay, the all fabric antenna. We have six meter, two meter, 70 centimeter, and GMRS versions of this antenna, and they all fit in your pocket and are super portable. Go and get yours today at VFcoms.com.